My name is Anika, and today we're going to talk about the spaceship game. So let's play it. When you click space, um, the missiles appear. So let's start with the scrolling background. When uh, we play it, this background is scrolling. Um, so it looks like um, the rocket ship is moving when it actually isn't. So we have two backgrounds that are sliding on top of each other. If we had only one background that, so basically the backgrounds are playing from up and down, up and down. If we only had one backdrop, then there would be a big blank space and we don't want that. That's why we have background two. The background is sliding upward and then downward uh, continuously. So now let's go to the rocket ship. This is the code for to, uh, to make it move up, down, left, and right. This is the code for it, for if it's touching rocks, the asteroid, then it will switch costume to crashed and broadcast game over to the game over sprite. And then it, when, it, when um, the game over sprite receives game over, it will show. And also we'll stop all. And this is for the sound. For the rocks, it's basically create clone of myself and the rocks are moving from up to down, the asteroid basically. And it will pick random from which X position it wants to come from, from like, uh, the, it, it can pick random for which side it can come from. It, ha, it just has to come from up to down. And that would repeat until touching the edge or the rocket ship. If it's touching the rocket ship, it will automatically become game over. And then if it's touching the edge, it deletes the clone. And it this is the code for the missile whenever the missile hits the asteroid the score changes by one and then after that the asteroid would get deleted because the missile has hit the asteroid and then Let's go to the missile code. So it's basically when key space press, the missile um, creates a clone of itself and then it will go to where the rocket ship is. And if touching the edge, which is on top over here, or if touching an asteroid, it would change why. Um, uh, so, it would change y by 10 because it's moving upward unless it was touching it the edge or touching an asteroid then and then after that it would delete this clone if it were to touch the rocks then of course it would change the score by one and if the rocks touch the rocket ship then the score then then it'll be game over 